everybody, Brandon Parker, back in with another video. This time this video is going to be um, on Logic Pro, tips and tricks for remixing. So I'm going to show you how to remix uh, inside of Logic Pro. So I'm going to get started, show you some stuff that I've been doing. Uh, a lot of my remixes I've been working on, on uh, in dubmusic.com. I've been working on uh, stuff like uh, Hollywood Undead. I just finished that up uh, uh, not too long ago. I just finished it up uh, that earlier. And then so I'm uh, working on now is a Joe Jonas remix, uh, his song Love Slayer. Pretty sweet. It's kind of like a dance type song. So I try to make this into like a club remix and stuff. So I'm trying to remix this into that. And what I have so far on it is uh, some uh, little bit of meaty notes that I've created on here so far in the start. I haven't really added the vocals yet. I played around with them a little bit uh, for like the beat to get into match and everything. And I went and added some like flex markers in here, added that uh, to get him to follow the beat because it's like uh, 125 beats per minute, which is the original version of the song. It's just that. So I changed it up to make it a bit faster. I wanted it to go 140 beats per minute. I think that's a pretty good tempo for like club uh, remixes, stuff like that. So I did it for that. So I added different, moving it around, how, how long. Do I want it to follow the beat and everything and this is what this sounds like a little bit with my drum kit I have like ultra beat and create my own kit and I'll show you that here in a second how to create your own kit if you don't know how Okay, so that's what it sounds like a little bit. Uh, a lot of what I'm using on this part so far is I'm just uh, trying to add like the stems that came with the song and everything uh, that I downloaded with for the remix. So I'm gonna try to uh, use those. And a few of my other remixes that I've done so far on indubamusic.com, I've done uh, away with a lot of the stems and everything. And in this uh, remix, and like in the Hollywood Undead, I'm trying to add all the stems as much as I can. The only stem part that I'm not using is like, is like the drum. I, I think it's better that I create my own drum so that it sounds a lot better. And if I decide to, I might fit it in there a little bit depending, but uh, mostly I'll, I'll try to uh, stay away from the drum because I, I like to create my own. And so I'm just going to add uh, all the other stuff that came with it. So uh, I'm using the synth, the bass, and this is like the background vocal, KC vocal, and this is the main vocal right there. So what I have uh, uh, playing right here is I'll show you what this looks like a little bit inside the piano roll. It's just whatever, for this right here, if you're creating notes and stuff and you want to know how to do this, all you do is go based on whatever sounds good to you. So I go to my piano roll and whatever sounds good to me is like this. I'll play this part right here and I'll have this playing only. So I'll go back to right here. I'll have this playing only. Okay. And what I have on it is like an audio unit plugin that I uh, that I have, uh, which is uh, let's go to mixer. Okay, audio unit plugin that I have is like Albino. So I have Albino playing on this. So I'll, I would probably bring it up some a little bit depending on the sound. I bring it up right there a little bit. I have that Albino playing, and then I have for this right here, audio unit that I have playing is Nexus. It's a popular plugin for Windows. Nexus, I have this. It's uh, one of the older versions that I have. I haven't updated to the new one yet because uh, I haven't felt the need to do it yet. And and I like other plugins. I like using those uh, sometimes, so I like to mix it up a little bit. And the new version is kind of just pretty much the same as this version. That's another reason why I haven't updated it yet. 
But I think there's like new kits a little bit with the new version, so I might update it. But right now, I, I don't feel like it, and I'm still doing pretty good with what I have here. Because I also got like, I just got Albino not too long ago. Then I have like a uh, Slinth one, I have this. This is uh, another audio unit that I have. It's pretty popular and it's pretty neat, it does uh, pretty good. And this is what I have for uh, this right here at the bottom. Uh, this one down here uh, that's playing a long note. I have it playing this right here. This is what this sounds like. Okay, you don't really no notice it that much until you are actually hearing it in, in, this, in the song. Uh, it's playing with the beat. So like right here. I'll play it. Okay, and I have it uh, uh, automation on it. I have it uh, uh, coming up, uh, starting to go all the way in, all the way to 20 seconds for it to go all the way to the uh, level that it is uh, right there. And I just wanted to fade in a little bit, kind of sound like that, fade in. You just go to your uh, uh, automation right here, you go to that. Then uh, for my flex marker, I do this, I go to flex, if I want to mess around with, like I say, with the changing of the vocals, I want them to match the beat, depending on how your drum is and everything. If you have a really cool drum kit, it doesn't matter how you have the beat or whatever. Oops, what did I do? Okay, right there. Okay, uh, so like here, the reason, like with my drum kit, kit the reason why uh, you can still hear it is because I have sequencer on it even though I don't have uh, MIDI notes on it. So what, what I do is I go to my ultra drum, drum beat and I have like a pattern and I and I have pattern number six playing. It's a pattern that was already generated from the default version and so I just kept that. And the only one that I created my own custom uh, pattern sequence which was on number 10 of that default version. And then I created it uh, my own, uh, well added my own uh, different drum sounds like I have VEC2 sounds and in order to do this you go to add your own pattern stuff and you want to make your own drum kit you go to let's see unclick out of full view and go to right here uh, click on the one that you want to change so if you want to change the kick we're gonna to go to here we're gonna to go to load sample uh, right here Make sure, uh, if it won't let you uh, do that, make sure you uh, right click on it first and then go to Ignite and go to Sample. But since I already I already loaded a sample and if I want to change it again or whatever, I just right click on it, or I'm not right, right click on this right here. And then I go to Load Sample and I look for whatever I want. And it's like right in here in Ultra Beat. I threw it in here. I go to VEC2 samples. Right in here. If I want this. But most of the sounds that I'm using are like from the VEC1 samples. So I have that too. Where is it? Right here. And I've been playing around with those a little bit. So I'll be creating uh, another kits and stuff. And. And I'll pin a link in the description to get the VEC1 sounds. Uh, I found these on Google as I was messing around looking for different drum kits and stuff. So I got that. Uh, back when I was using like uh, FL Studio. So I've had these for a while. And I really wanted to use these for Logic Pro. So I just realized uh, like when I was doing a Hollywood Undead remix that you can create your own drum kits and stuff inside of Ultra Beat. So a lot of stuff uh, I'm learning as I keep remixing different stuff to play around with. So I, as I do different remixes and stuff, I uh, find something new to do inside of Logic and everything that I didn't notice before. And so I wanted to show you this uh, little tip, uh, especially with the drum kit. You can create your own drum kits inside of 
or it should be just uh, pick whatever sounds you like right like right here what I have so far with the Vec one sounds that I like is right here and now you can hear it okay all oh, this right here okay I have those different ones I have acid synth that I uh, found uh, from the VEC1 sample you can hear this a little bit that adds to nice uh, different feel to your drum kit whatever adding different sounds to your drums and everything it's pretty neat and I'll just uh, un single do these and have it playing again just so you can hear it Right there, and what you can also do is say you have this sequencer on. So you, I'll go back to my uh, ultra beat, and we have this sequencer with the pattern on. And we're on number six with this one. You can uh, also mix it up with uh, MIDI notes for it. So I'll go to uh, with it, and so we want to mix it up, and we want to get a different drum. So I have like Ghost Town playing, and like right around in here, I have this, and you can play this. You can change it up a little bit, have it fade out, and then have the uh, this drum playing by, by itself. And then you can have it fade back in, and you can hear it playing together, like right here. So that's pretty neat. What you could do, you just make different drum patterns. And what I do for this drum pattern right here is this little pattern right here. I'll go to my piano roll. And I have like uh, this pattern right here. Right here, it's kind of like a random pattern, but it follows uh, the drum kit pretty nice of uh, this Club One kit and this trance kit that I created. Follows that pretty nice. So I'll get out of the automation and I'll show you what I did, uh, show you what this looks like a little bit. The This right here, this I just, whatever sounds good to you, like I said, uh, that's what I do on this is whatever sounds good. And I kind of generate sounds that are similar to this, uh, but that are a little bit different. So like right around in here, you can see with this, this is the first fast one. Actually I should, un sometimes that happens. right here okay this is the first one okay and this is what this sounds like I'll just have this one playing actually okay now here's the second one I'll have this come in just these two playing kind of sounds similar. No piano roll this one. Selected that. And right here, you can see that. And then it goes down a little bit. So it's pretty similar to this one, except it stays on the same uh, note, which is, oops, stays on the same note, which is uh, right around uh, a little bit below C3. It's playing all the way until right here. And then it goes down a little bit so I kind of did that follows this a little bit and it's like kind of like a second part like a verse or whatever or kind of another part of the song and then this right here uh, I just added this right there to change it up a little bit because if you kept these repeating it sounds like a bit boring and, and stuff so you change it up a little bit but not too much so that's what I do is I change it up some and then I try to do similar stuff but with with different AU plugins, audio units, and stuff like that, they uh, do different uh, stuff. So, say if you have like like this one, I have synthesized uh, 
select one right here, this audio unit. So I'll go to the mixer and I have uh, select one and then I have this play. And this is the synth one that I'm using, uh, hype, hype no frog. I have this playing. This is what it sounds like. I'll go to where it actually hear it more. Right in here. So I have this playing right there. And all, all it is is just like uh, one uh, long note. So I'll go to the piano row. Let's go to the piano row, and all it is, this, all it is is just this right here. See that right there? So all it is is just that. But I mean, it, different uh, audio units make them sound different. So it kind of sounds like a, like a, like a pad a little bit. But I change it up a little bit with the different uh, sounds that I'm using with my audio units that I have. So depending on what sound you have, they also help to make it sound a lot better. So if you have, like with all the basic stuff that comes with Logic, it's kind of a bit boring. I think the best part of the stuff that comes with uh, uh, Logic itself, if you don't really have anything, uh, audio units or whatever, is like like the Ultra B. That's the best uh, thing that comes with lo uh, Logic itself. And everything else, like a third-party plug-in that you have to get, a lot of them you have to pay for them. So a lot of these that I paid for these and stuff like that, and so they're kind of a bit expensive, but they do uh, pretty pretty neat uh, stuff. They get the job done. They can remix pretty nice with these a little bit, so it's pretty nice, uh, and it makes it for pretty cool uh, stuff remixing and uh, and stuff. So in a lot of the uh, MIDI notes, so you can even uh, look for like different MIDI sounds on like Google. You can go to like Four Shared. A lot of people have different uh, MIDI uh, generated ones already. If you don't know, uh, to help you get started a little bit, uh, generating your own MIDI notes. But sometimes a lot of those uh, kind of are boring because a lot of times it's better to do your whatever comes in natural to you, whatever you like, and whatever creative mind if you have. It's, uh, in your head or whatever for like notes and everything and stuff so that's why I say it's better to create your own because it sounds more customizable and then you're, it's more creative but a lot of them uh, if you get you know, like different MIDI notes or plug-in and stuff like different MIDI ones uh, they help a little bit to get you started but uh, I don't really like to use a lot of them because they kind of don't feel like you're customizing it but uh, that's it uh, on this tutorial. I just wanted to show you a little bit of tips and tricks in this video. Help you out a little bit to do remixing and stuff. Uh, and this is what I'm uh, working on is my Joe Jonas remix, Love Slayer. And uh, it's due on September 7th. So I have a bit of plenty of time to do it. About two weeks or so to do it. So that's it. And see you later. That's it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Check out my... Uh, Second channel, Spinock. I do random videos there. Haven't done a video there in a while. But I'm trying to think of what to do next there. So I might uh, surprise everyone with whatever video because I do, like I said, random videos. So you see, just subscribe to that channel. Also, subscribe to my uh, Fantasy Art. I'm going to be doing a video game uh, video there soon because I'm going to do video gameplay videos there. So and not do fan videos there anymore because uh, those are getting boring and I don't really like doing fan videos anymore. So uh, that's it. See you later. Uh, that's it. Also check me out on Twitter, Magic Slider, uh, Facebook, MasterSun88, and my website which is pixelpocketmedia.com for all my videos that I do on YouTube and other places and stuff that I do. So check out my website. I got a forums there. Uh, add yourself to my forums my website and everything and that's it see you later and that's it